All right, what's going on? Here's an unboxing and a little bit of a comparison with the uh, Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler. Uh, direct heat pipe, uh, 120 mil fan. Um, this thing is pretty big. I have uh, pulled out an old AMD um, uh, X64 X2 heat sink and fan, just as a little comparison. We'll get to that in a second. But anyways, this Cooler Master Evo is probably one of the most popular, uh, pretty effective CPU coolers out there that's going, you know, still running just air. Um, you usually find these for 25 to 30 bucks anywhere, just watching sales. Um, fits just about everything. I'll show you right here. Just about every CPU socket out there, this will fit. Um, it is big. It shows you the overall dimensions of 4.7 inches by 3 by 6.2 inches. So it is monster. You got to make sure you have room in your case to uh, try to run one of these things. Um, there's actually some real weight to it. I've already had it out of the box, so I kind of played with it a little bit. But yeah, there's there's some real weight to it. So let's open it up and see what you get. Maybe. There we go. Alright. So here it is. This thing is big. Alright, and in the box you get your CP cooler, 120 millimeter fan. You get your bracket. You have Old baggy work of good stuff. This is Intel LGA 2011 adapters. You get a, a couple more uh, brackets so you can run uh, push pull, run run dual fans. Um, this is the actual bracket that holds it down. You get some Cooler Master um, thermal compound. Um, I, I've I've heard a lot of people say, you know, oh, um, this stuff sucks, this stuff sucks. But from what I've seen and from what I've heard, it's actually pretty decent stuff. Um, so anyway, so there's all that. You get a nice little instruction booklet. And that's the other thing, I haven't looked at the booklet yet, but everyone says that the instructions suck, but that'll be up to you whether you understand it or not. There's lots of videos on how to install these, just kind of giving you a rundown of what's actually in the box. Now, get all this stuff out of the way. We'll go with the comparison. Now, the Evo, they've smoothed out all of the heat pipes that actually contact the CPU and it's I can tell you right now it's pretty smooth but there are gaps there are little bits of imperfections on the bottom so that's where the thermal compound really comes into its own um, great big huge 120 mil fan and just as a comparison let's set this up and this still got thermal compound on it so I don't want to set it down too far there's your comparison. That's how much difference there is. It's a huge difference in height you're dealing with. Um, as for direct comparison side by side, yeah, it's pretty massive. So, there it is. Hope you enjoy the video.